Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I am your host Craig Chamberlain and in this video you're going to learn how to install a CD slash DVD slash whatever ROM drive you might have lying around the house drive. Very easy to do. Okay, There's only two connectors on these things. It's going to be harder for you to mount the thing into your actual case than it is going to be for you to actually connect the thing. This is a serial ATA data connector. We've talked about that in a previous video. And here's a serial ATA power connector. Okay, that's all a CD-ROM needs. You just give it power and communications cable. If you look at your case, this is where it usually gets tricky because it depends on your case. In my instance, because if I said case, it'd be too much for saying case, I can't really get this front panel out without taking off this whole face plate. Now, on the inside of this case, you'll see these little divots. Can you show them those? Little cameraman there. On my case, I have to push these in and then push it back push it forward and the door opens like so okay a lot of times the front faceplate does come off of these relatively easily sometimes it's a huge pain but a lot of times it's what you have to do then I need to actually pop out this section because this is where I want my actual CD-ROM drive to show on my front panel so in this particular case I just push it in push these little connectors in and pop it out Okay, so now I've got an open hole for my CD-ROM drive. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so then I'll just go ahead and reattach it. And, believe it or not, a lot of people go in through the actual back side of this. Once you've got the front faceplate off, a lot of times you can go in through the front. Not always. just depends on the case. But as you can see, I can just move it back and forth until I find out exactly where I want it, make it flush with the front part of your case. And you'll notice that there are your screw holes right there on the side. Very, very easy to do once you've done it once. So basically, I'm putting myself out of business. Hopefully you got the right screws. Sometimes the screws for the actual CD-ROM drives are a little smaller than the ones that come with your normal case. Um, if you want to be, you know, make sure that it has the best fit, there's screws on both sides of these. So you might want to screw it in on this side and then on your actual case, you'll flip it over. I'll show you in a second. Hang on. You'll flip it around and you'll have more screw holes here on the back. So that'll actually make it more snug and less, less chance for it to move around in the front. Now after you've done that, we're at the part of actually just plugging in your power connectors. I have a serial ATA power connector here. Only plugs in really one way. Let me make sure I run it up through here and plug it in. Come on. Okay, it fits nice and snug in there. Actually, I prefer that. I don't know if you can even see that in there. See, I got the power connector in there now. And then you need to get a serial ATA data cable. This one came with my motherboard, so thankfully I had one already. Unless you buy the CD-ROM drive retail, you'll have to buy this separate. Because I bought mine OEM, which means I just got the drive. I didn't get any cables. So then I go ahead and plug this in here to the other section of it. You can see that right there. Oh, can you see it? Yeah, right here. Okay, and then we plug it into the motherboard serial ATA connectors. And on my motherboard, they're down here. They can be pretty much anywhere on your board. I plugged my hard drive into serial ATA numbered one. And there's a serial ATA number two right above it. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that one in. And you're done. That's all there is. I know this is probably the scariest thing you're ever going to do when you're building a computer. But unless you face your fears, you will never overcome them. It's that simple. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings and like this video if you liked it. Follow me on all the social networks, and uh, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Just send me a message or uh, don't text me or call me because that would be weird. So I'll see you guys in the next video.